Madam Speaker, I rise today with my colleagues in opposition to this harmful legislation. Today, the other side of the aisle is kowtowing to the wealthy and elite environmental lobby by ignoring science and facts and legislating over the needs of rural communities. This heavy-handed federal approach ignores potential revenues generated from state trust lands that would flow to schools and our local communities. I feel like we're living in the movie Groundhog Day, Groundhog Day sometimes. Time and time again, locals who live on these lands, who work in the area, who raise their families there, who represent these districts, are supportive of these projects. Those who often know nothing about the local projects, the economy, or the environment are the ones who are inserting themselves in opposition. This illustrates the vast divide between the realities for local communities and the visions of environmentalists. What these visions tend to ignore is that the choice is a binary one. We either get these minerals needed for our everyday life, renewable energy, and national security from right here in the United States, or we import them from places like Russia, Uzbekistan, and Chinese-owned mines in Africa. Do these countries have the same standards in place as we do to protect the environment? Madam Speaker, the answer is no. Do these foreign mines hire workers with high-wage salaries? Madam Speaker, the answer is no. Are these mines required to comply with the regulatory agency like the Mine Health and Safety Administration? Madam Speaker, the answer is no. Do Russia and China have our best national security interests in mind? Madam Speaker, the answer is no. Therefore, this legislation is baffling. Our enemies abroad could not have written a better bill to benefit their economies and national security goals while simultaneously damaging ours. Instead of arbitrarily deciding that mining is wrong, Madam Speaker, let's look at the facts. One, it is unsustainable and irresponsible to continue our reliance on foreign adversaries for our minerals. And two, mining and a pristine environment are not mutually exclusive. I encourage anybody in this body to come to northern Minnesota and view our reclaimed mines, which are home to the cleanest drinking water in the state of Minnesota. Or how about visiting the Hermit Mine in Arizona? This was a functional uranium mine in the 1980s. It is now fully reclaimed with a pristine landscape. We need these minerals. Let's stand up against anti-science scare tactics and vote against this bill and in support of good jobs, renewable energy, and national security for our country. Madam Speaker, I yield back.